Part 3 Directions In this part, you will listen to several conversations between two or more speakers. These conversations will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each conversation, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. A representative of the state government just contacted me regarding our recent funding proposal. Our request was approved, so the community centre is going to be the recipient of a technology grant worth $75,000. Wonderful! Now we can finally afford to replace the outdated electronics in our computer lab with more modern equipment. People in the community are going to be very pleased with the news. That's right. However, there are limitations on how the grant money can be spent, so we'll have to read over the documents carefully before buying computers or other devices. Number 32. What will the community centre receive? Number 33. What are the speakers planning to do? Number 34. Why must the speakers review some documents? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Mr. Abdul. This is Alicia Pons calling from Davenport Architecture. We received your resume and cover letter in regard to our associate architect position and we would like to invite you in for an interview this Thursday. Are you available in the morning? Thank you for contacting me. I already have an appointment scheduled in, but I'm free that afternoon or at any time before 12 p.m. on Friday. Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. will be fine. I'll mark it in my calendar. Is there anything else I should bring, like a reference letter? I'd appreciate an example of a blueprint that you created for a previous employer. Other than that, I have everything I need. Number 35. Why did the woman contact the man? Number 36. When will the speakers most likely meet? Number 37. What will the man most likely bring for the woman? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Do you know why our investor Mr. Herman hasn't gotten in touch with me yet? He was supposed to call at around 9am today, which is when his flight was scheduled to arrive, but it's 9.45 now and I haven't heard from him. I just received a message from his secretary indicating that his flight was delayed in Detroit. Apparently, his departure was postponed by an hour due to a severe blizzard. His flight should arrive shortly, however. Oh, I see. In that case, we'll have to hold off starting the presentation on product development until this afternoon, as Mr. Herman is flying in to listen to it. Yes, that looks unavoidable at this point. I'll notify the research team. Number 38. What does the man say about Detroit? Number 39. According to the woman, why is Mr. Herman coming to the office? Number 40. What will the man probably do next? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Pardon me, is there an ATM I can use other than the one by the bank's entrance? Quite a few people are in line to use that one. Unfortunately, the only other one in the building is undergoing regular maintenance.
It won't be accessible for about an hour. Hmm. I'm in a bit of a rush. I need to withdraw cash before I fly to Vancouver for a business trip. Well, the teller at the end of the counter is helping another customer, but that shouldn't take too long. You can get cash from her once she's available. I'm sure you'll find that option faster than using the machine. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the suggestion. Number 41. What problem does the woman mention? Number 42. What does the woman mean when she says, I'm in a bit of a rush? Number 43. What does the man suggest the woman do? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Wendy Ron from Silver Fork Engineering. I'm calling about some of the air conditioning units in our office building. Three of them are extremely loud and have been distracting our employees. Could you please send a technician to look at them tomorrow? I'm sorry, but all of our technicians are booked through Thursday. With the hot weather, we've been repairing a lot of air conditioners lately. However, one is available this Friday. Would it be acceptable for him to stop by on that day instead? That would work. We're holding a staff picnic on Friday, so there won't be anyone here to get in the repair person's way. The building manager can give him access to our office. Number 44. According to the woman, what has caused a distraction? Number 45. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 46. What is probably going to take place on Friday? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. I work at Spectre Industries, and we want to convert a vacant lot on our property into a garden with a seating area. Could your landscaping company handle a job of that scale? Absolutely. Although our firm mostly does residential work, we have commercial clients too. In fact, just last summer, we did a large landscaping project for the Seward Grocery Store, which is located three blocks from your facility. Oh, really? I pass by that building daily and I'm always impressed with how nice its front lawn looks. We certainly appreciate the compliment. Now, why don't you tell me more about the work you'd like done? Number 47. Where does the woman work? Number 48. What does the woman say her company did last summer? Number 49. What does the woman ask for? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello. I've come to pick up medicine prescribed to me by Dr. Vasquez. My name is Marcia Chow. Certainly. Here you are. Can I help you with anything else today? Yes. Do you know if it is possible to get a free flu shot at the medical clinic next door? It costs $30, I believe. I see. And where exactly should I go to get the shot? I've never been inside the clinic before. I'm not sure. Uh, I can ask my supervisor, though. One moment, please. Daniel, this customer is interested in getting a flu vaccination at the clinic. Where exactly should she go? Just head to the 8th floor, the area for family medicine. You can't miss it. Number 50. What is the purpose of the woman's visit?
Number 51. Who most likely are the men? Number 52. What information does Daniel provide? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Calvin, do you have a portable storage device that I can borrow? I need to move the file for the marketing presentation I'm giving at the staff meeting to my laptop. I've got one in my drawer. Now, um, isn't that the meeting taking place three days from now? It's two days away, but I'd like to rehearse in advance since I'll be presenting in front of our department head. That makes sense. Well, if you want, I can join you in the conference room to watch your presentation. I'll give you my feedback on it so that you'll be better prepared for any questions that might come up. Number 53. When will a meeting take place? Number 54. What does the woman want to do? Number 55. What does the man mean when he says, I can join you in the conference room? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. As you can see, the apartment we're in comes with two bedrooms, a bathroom, living room, and modern kitchen. Additionally, the Chicago skyline can be seen from the bedroom. Rent is $1,900 a month. If you're interested in filling out an application, I have one right here. The apartment is very impressive, but I have another showing tomorrow, which I'd like to follow through with before making a decision on where to live. Of course, just be aware that another potential tenant saw the unit this morning. Although she has yet to submit an application, she assured me that she was going to do so soon. Whoever turns one in first will be given priority. Number 56. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 57. Why does the woman want to wait to make up her mind? Number 58. What happened earlier today? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. How are negotiations going with True Care Medical Supplies? Did the president of True Care say whether the company agrees to our acquisition terms regarding the retention of personnel? Yes. He agreed that none of our existing employees will be dismissed immediately. However, all staff will be subject to a six month evaluation following the purchase to determine whether they will receive contract extensions. Hmm. Well, at least everyone will have a chance to maintain their jobs. Have financial figures been discussed at all? As of now, we're being offered $45 million, which our analysts tell me is a bit low. I need your approval to ask the company to pay $48 million instead. Number 59. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 60. What is mentioned about staff? Number 61. Why does the woman require the man's approval? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Roger, we have to get the auditorium lobby ready before people arrive for tonight's debut performance of the play Going for Broke. Right, I've got the actors' photographs framed for display. What else is there to do? 
Can you set up some tables where programs can be handed out? Sure. There are a few in the basement. I'll ask Jacob to help me carry them up here. His shift starts in 15 minutes. Okay. And finally, we need a spot where fans can take photos with the cast after the show. Let's put it where it was last year, in the area to the left when you enter the building, just before you reach the refreshment stand. Number 62. What type of event is happening tonight? Number 63. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 64. Look at the graphic. Where most likely will photos be taken? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and coupon. Excuse me, I'd like to buy a pad to make my bike seat more comfortable. Do you have the Explorer XS cushion in stock? Yes, it's right here. And you're in luck. The product has a retail price of $56, but it's currently marked down by 10%. That's great. Plus, I've got this coupon to use. Hmm. Unfortunately, it won't be valid for this purchase. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, I'll still take the pad. I need it as I'm going biking this weekend. OK. If you're finished shopping, I can show you the way to the cashier area. Yes, this is all I'm looking for today. Number 65. What does the man ask about? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Why is the man unable to use the coupon? Number 67. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and flight schedule. Let's hurry, Kelsey. I'm concerned we won't catch our connecting flight to our destination. Wait, look here. This screen says our flight has been delayed. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'd like to find a spot in this terminal that provides Wi-Fi. I need to download the lecture notes from the sales conference we attended in Cincinnati. Just so you know, there's a charge to use the airport's internet service. Really? I'd rather not pay a fee. Well, I should still have time to review the notes before our noon meeting today in Portland. Yeah, Miss Anderson probably won't ask us much about the conference anyway. She'll be more interested in whether we secured any sales contracts on our trip. Number 68. Why is the man worried? Number 69. What does the man want to do? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which flight will the speakers take?